it's been brought to our attention that there's a class at U of A where the final project is making videos on U of A traditions and that nobody chose the greatest tradition of them all, the painting of the ASU A on Tempe Butte. This is our story. Consider it our submission. I had already done it when I was a freshman and I wouldn't want to leave the University of Arizona without going about doing that. On December 4th, it was about four or five cars uh, in the trip, drove up to Tempe. Um, we arrived at the base of Avon. I have been in contact with the director of the club who's in charge of guarding the A, and he thinks that I'm an ASU student. He told us when they were going to be guarding it, who was going to be guarding it, um, and every day that they were going to be guarding it. It was, uh, it was senior night at ASU, and it was the senior students that guard the A that night. We sent three people up there, myself included. They were disguised and were able to kind of trick <laughs> the really smart ASU students who were protecting it. We said, hey, how you guys doing? How's it been going? How long have you been up here? They had been up there since about 9 p.m. the night before, and they were just on the way out. They saw, um, they saw a ray of sunshine, and they're like, well, there's the first ray of sun. All right, it's time to go home. They're not going to paint it today. We got it. We guarded it. And as soon as they said that, we said, okay, all right, we'll see you guys later. Uh, upon their uh, signal, everyone that was waiting in the cars at the base of the hill. And right as the sun was rising, uh, about 15 to 20 UVA students ran up the mountain with paint cans. There are four different teams carrying buckets and paint brushes and things. And we went up. And it's kind of a windy pathway in the sense that it's rocky and you really have to have the stamina to be able to get up that hill. We got to the A and we kind of spread out along each side of the A. And we took that red paint and we just started splattering the paint on the A. And we proceeded to, to paint the entire A in about eight minutes with joggers and morning walkers. <laughs> right in front of us in complete daylight. As for myself, I uh, stood lookout over the mountain at their lookout point, upon which I uh, noticed the women's water polo team rushing up the hill to capture us. And we were able to effectively ditch their efforts and say, you know what, it's our A now. Then we did a quick drive-by of the mountain to revel in our accomplishment, and then I started calling as many uh, news stations as possible to get coverage. Covering Tucson and all of southern Arizona, this is K-Gun 9 on your side at 10. The University of Arizona, Arizona State University rivalry is in full sway. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about the traditional trashing in Tempe of the ASUA. Some wildcats snuck up Tempe's A mountain to paint the usually golden colored A red. But diehard devils were out early to reverse the curse. Sky 12 was over Tempe at noon today, where A Mountain uh, received uh, vandalism overnight as part of the annual rivalry between the University of Arizona and ASU that always happens prior to the uh, basketball and football games. And as we punch in here, you can see abandoned paint buckets. But again, uh, vandals hit uh, A Mountain overnight and turned the A on A Mountain uh, completely red as part of the uh, rivalry between the University of Arizona and uh, ASU. In Sky 12, Lynn French for 12news.azcentral.com. I did not sleep that night. It was a great feeling just to see that gold A turned into red in just a couple minutes. It was one of the best experiences I've had here. It proves how much better we are as opposed to them, because we outwit them every year, and we always manage to paint their A. We were there to prove that, that we were more skilled, we were more cunning, and we were a lot more intelligent. Uh, it felt like a part of me was just placed, like a piece in a puzzle, just put there. Like it was, it was an amazing feeling. That we're showing our colors, we're showing our pride, and the fact that, you know, we are Arizona and this is our state, 
but there's nothing else like this, and it's something that's really special and unique, because this revelry is storied and completely ridiculous, because both schools completely dislike each other. I encourage everyone to, uh, to do it and to go and paint that A red. I think that this tradition will live on. Uh, when I came to U of A, um, I learned about it, and um, mainly through word of mouth. It's a underground tradition, per se. As a student of the University of Arizona, like, it's our, it's our job to maintain that tradition and keep that alive. And I would tell them the incoming class that, you know, this is something that it's our, it's our responsibility, it's our kind of job as, you know, wildcats to keep this tradition alive. It's, it's our thing. And uh, I would tell them, you know, it's even though it may seem like it's too late, you know, we're not going to be able to get it done. It's too risky. Everyone's guarding the A right now. You can get it done. Like, we're, we're smarter and we're better than Arizona State. And it's our job to kind of show our pride and make sure that uh, we go up there every year. Traditions live over time and uh, students come and go. Coaches and teams and players and administrators come and go, but the traditions live on and U of A will always be greater than ASU. Go Wildcats!